Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zach. You're watching another episode of Wet That Line. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the Abbott 2 speed that I've got and that you guys have been asking about it, so we're going to cover it in just a moment. And before we get started, guys, this episode is sponsored by Terra Firma Tackle. Uh, more on them at the very end. I'll show you my favorite rig that I got from them. Also, shout out to Shark and Crew. Thank you, Jaime, for getting me started with the, with the shark fishing. I, I will never look back. Um, if you guys want to see stuff about them, go on Facebook to Shark and Crew and keep up to date. Let's get back to this reel. Um, and before we even get started, everyone that's already subscribed to the channel, like, put a comment down, let me know you're watching. Uh, what's up to all you guys? I appreciate all the love. Alright guys, so I constantly get asked what kind of gear I'm using and often I am using this particular reel. Um, it's with a cousin's rod, we'll get to that in a moment. But um, I use it because it's so versatile. Uh, first off, it's the Avid LX63. It's a two-speed. Uh, right here is where you got the little the clicker, so you can go two-speed. Makes it real nice and easy. Flip it off like that. It's nice to have the option for two-speed, especially if you end up getting on something big. The main reason I got this was for that two-speed action. You gotta have that. If you're going out on those big boat trips where you're trying to catch some bluefin or anything like that, I highly recommend you get a two-speed. Even for rock fishing, when you're going to the 600 foot mark, you wanna have something that's easier to reel up. I mean, with this one on two-speed, I can just sit there with two fingers while I'm, I look over and that guy's like, eh, eh, eh. I'm literally just like, might wanna get that two-speed better, you know? Oh, stand up like a man, you sissy. Uh, it makes it real easy to bring up even on a double with nice rock fish might have a lean cut on there And you're not gonna be dying, you know doing the whole bluefin tuna get get down on one knee Technique just because you're rock fishing and if you're rock fishing all day You're not trying to die another big deal about this reel that I like is how much pressure you can put on the fish with the drag You can really go all the way full fight and really get that thing uh, Put in as much pressure as possible if you got a leopard shark trying to go between the pylons at the pier or if you're trying to hurry up, you're the last one, you you drop down your yo-yo jig over by San Nicolas Island and you got on a 35 pound yellowtail like I did right here. Oh yeah, man. Hell yeah. Nice up, yeah. You can really put some torque on that sucker. Make sure that you get your fish in quickly. You don't have to worry about getting the fish tired, especially you're using something with nice big old treble hooks like that. The fish isn't going anywhere and you can really start putting that pressure on them. Personally, I haven't gotten to the point where I've gotten such a big fish that I needed to drop down to that second speed. It's only when I'm rock fishing with this particular reel. Otherwise, everything that I've caught with it, I like feeling that fight. I don't have the longest endurance, but I'm also not the worst in shape either. And so I'm middle of the ground. So if you're fighting a big fish, a shark, a big old yellowtail, you could keep it in that first gear and that high gear and really put the pressure on. Whereas for the rock fishing, when you're just sitting there dropping down, bringing it up, dropping down, Hit that two speed and then you can just do it real easy and, and, and be more uh, lassadaisical about your, your reeling. But big, big time, uh, a big fan of how much drag and pressure you could put and how, how sensitive it is with this knob here. You could bring it down, loosen this up with this, with this dial here. You can adjust it so that when you're sitting there at the surf and the waves are pulling the, the line in and out, in and out, you can get it dialed just enough so that it's as loose as possible without letting line out just because the tide goes out. But then as soon as something hits it, you're going to be able to hear it take some line away. So that brings me to this clicker feature here. You know, I do have some reels that are big that I use on the boats that you could use for multiple purposes, but without that clicker, you know, if you guys know anything about shark fishing, you want to be able to hear it taken off. You know, if you're going out for leopards and, and you, you have your line sitting out there, you're, you're able to hear the effect and uh, you'll see people casting it with that on and you're like, all right, brother, like uh, someone's got to let you know not to do that. Which if you're watching this for the first time, you don't know much about fishing and you hear your line going Krrr, when you're casting. Please, as a favor to everyone around you and yourself, turn your clicker off, ask for some help. But um, that's something that I also like about this one. So you can, with that first dial, you can get it set in so that it's not taking it out when the waves are going out. But as soon as something does touch your bait, it's making that sound alerting you to the bite and letting you know that you're about to get this fish on. Now this one here, I have a few hundred yards of braid. I like to, you know, depending on what I'm going for, I'm either gonna put about 40 to 50 to 60, somewhere around in there, 
uh, poundage of braid and then I'm going to go down probably 10 pounds in mono and then from there you can add fluorocarbon to your leader but it's going to hold a lot of it you're going to be able to get a good amount of line out there if you're fighting something big and it's running away from you you know you want to get it tired or whatever or you're dropping real low 600 feet you're going to be able to put enough line on here that you're actually going to be able to make it down there I use this for a lot of different uh, purposes yo-yo jigging for yellowtail rock fishing for you know real deep depths going out to the surf or on a pier throwing out a, a nice bait a bait finder rig or a slider rig you know but basically a carolina rig but for sharks it's a it's a very multi-purpose reel very 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 much worth its value uh, you can find these maybe around the 300 something if it's used all the way up to 500 something for the top of the line brand new hasn't been opened out at all it's worth getting if you're going to be into fishing you're going to get into some big stuff get one of these reels it really has uh, opened up my ability to get on a lot of different stuff i do have it paired with a cousin's rod you're not going to be able to find these very often i mean cousins is out of business i mean you can find them though uh, you can see right here on the back side it says a uh, 30 to 50 pound line a uh, seven foot i believe it doesn't say if this is a medium heavy but i'm sure it's a medium heavy it has good bend in the rod you're, you're going to want something that complements the size line that you put on the reel be prepared to spend anywhere from a little over 500 all the way up to almost a thousand dollars depending on how new the reel is and how new the rod is if it's used and it's in good condition even if you needed to replace some parts know its value it will last a lifetime and as long as you treat it right if you guys want to get something like this go out to baja fish and tackle in lamita uh, meet up with john he's the owner of the shop he's going to be able to direct you exactly to what you're going to need for what you plan to go fishing for and thank you guys for staying until the end of this video. Now to go over my favorite rig setup that I've gotten from Terra Firma Tackle. You're first, you're going to start off with a Sputnik sinker, just like this here. There's a lot of videos out there that talk about, oh, you got to pour your lead and then drill a hole and get your wires. And yeah, you can make your own if you want to. I'm not saying not to, but for the majority of us, we don't got time to be getting lead poisoning. Just go on Terra Firma Tackle, get you a couple of these for a couple bucks, you'll be set to go. Um, good products for a very reasonable price. Um, and if you use promo code wet that line, you can get 10% off everything you're about to see. But pretty much what I like to do is I put, I get one of these Sputnik sinker attachments. I get me a, a six ounce pyramid sinker. I attach it to the bottom here, just like that. You can collapse this up, put, all, put both ends in that hole. And then you just tie your main line to this. And what you'll do is you'll sit on in the surf or on a pier and you'll toss that out. And then I let it sit there. I let the line go slack. I let it sit there. I go catch a mackerel. And then what I'd like to do is while your line is staying out there, then you get one of these big old five foot long leaders with a nice circle hook, real heavy uh, poundage test on the, the line, a swivel, a big thick swivel and a nice clip. And what you'll do is you'll clip that on your main line and then you'll send it down. You guys can hit this link at the top. I come back and hit that link when we're done explaining everything you can watch us do this on venice pier you send your mackerel down and you can just sit out there and wait have your line set perfect and then when you got a big old bat ray or, or, or leopard shark you'll know that's my favorite you can also get plenty of other stuff like this here sturgeon leader a bait keeper corkscrew on there uh, that's great for any kind of fish with a suction mouth you also have like this uh, uh, non returnable slip slide that you can uh, slide baits down and it won't crawl back up your line with the with the uh, with the tide but plenty of stuff to check out they also have reels and rods um, but I highly re recommend them uh, they haven't done me wrong at all and shout out to you Spencer I appreciate the sponsor and then guys until next time let's go with that one